What do pennies, cardboard, and lime juice have in common? Together, they create energy. Let's check it out. Okay, so first we start off snipping off pieces of cardboard in squares smaller than the diameter of the pennies. This is important because the cardboard cannot touch in the final product, or it doesn't work. Then we take lime juice and we're going to saturate the cardboard in a container in lime juice. We want to make sure that it gets soaked in there, so let's go ahead and dunk it in, make sure it's saturated. And then we're going to take our pennies. This side of the penny, you can see that it is copper, it's a penny. But the other side, what you do not know, is that it has been rubbed down to expose the zinc. 1982 and after have zinc inside, not completely copper. So that is the key. For legality purposes, I did not want to expose that, but that is what you need. One side shows the face, the other side just rub it down till you see the zinc, which is a silver color. Then we're going to stack penny and then cardboard, penny, cardboard, penny, cardboard. It takes five of these to light an LED. Four will not light it. I chose seven to make sure that it lit it for this video. As you can see, here's the penny stack. Regular pennies, cardboard, lime juice. Here's the LED. I soldered wires to the prongs of the LED to extend it to make sure that it can wrap from one side of the penny stack to the other. And as you can see, we definitely have power on that LED, but let's go ahead and shut some lights off so we can really see that. There we go, getting brighter, brighter, and brighter. There we go. So this really does work. I do not know how long it's worked. Other videos on YouTube show that it works for like two or three days. I do know that once it runs out, all you have to do is saturate it again with lime juice, and it will work. You can pour it right onto the penny stack and it will work again. And I just wanted to do this project, and that's really pretty much it. It's pretty neat. There it is with the lights on to show that it's not a trick, and do this experiment for yourself. Find out.